Hey everyone, this is Chris, sometimes known as LOTR Deck Tech, and this week I'm going to bring you another Noldor discard spam kind of build. But we're not going to do it in the usual way. There is no Aerostore in this deck. At least there's no lore Aerostore. Uh, Ally Aerostore is in here because, quite frankly, Ally Aerostore with Elven Light is phenomenal. But still a little different than normal. Uh, the hero mix we're going with is Arwen. She's going to be our sort of initial discard target. Uh, plus, she can hold the Elven Spear, which is good for fighting or battle questing. Uh, we got Theodrid, who is going to help us generate the resources we need to keep discarding and replaying Elven Light over and over and over again. And our final hero, sort of a surprise for me, is Gandalf. Uh, you know, you've watched this channel for a while, you've seen my deck lists on Rings DB. You know I don't Gandalf very often. Uh, I love Sneak Attack and Corset Gandalf. So this Gandalf really needs to pull an awful lot of weight in order to make up for it. But he has great stats all around. Uh, he has access to some phenomenal attachments that are going to help us out. It'll work. <laughs> Guaranteed. Alright, so let's talk a little bit about the discarding and what we're going to do with that. So, the main card we want to discard over and over again is, as you might expect, Elven Light, which we can play from the discard pile to draw more cards. And my plan is to play Elven Light so many times that I hate myself when I'm editing this video. There's a pretty good chance that's going to happen. In order to enable us to discard Elven Light so many times, we're going to use Protector of Lorien and Elven Spear on Arwen so that she can quest, or defend, or siege quest, as the case may be, discarding a bunch of cards, boosting her stats, and then spending a bunch of resources to draw those cards back up. In order to fuel the Elven Light, which is pretty costly on the resource front, uh, we have Steward of Gondor, which Theodred is going to pay for, or possibly Gandalf, depending on exactly when we find it. And that is definitely going to go on Arwen. Uh, the deck is very skewed towards spirit resources, as you might expect, because of that. You know, we're going to spend them on a bunch of stuff that is just going to hopefully make our game a lot easier. Uh, we've got Northern Tracker, we've got Ally Glorfindel, we've got Jubair. You know, all of these allies, they're expensive and they are incredibly powerful. Sort of back this up, we have a little bit of a Gandalf suite. Uh, we're not using too many card slots on these attachments, so they're a little dangerous to discard. The biggest one is Wizard Pipe, which is going to allow us to put lore and tactics cards back on top of the deck in order to pay for them with Gandalf. We do have one Shadow Fax, because being able to ready Gandalf is great. Unexpected Courage is probably a little better, but... Unexpected Courage also taxes our spirit resources, and Shadow Facts you can pay with Gandalf resources or Theodred resources, no problems. Uh, there is one copy of Narya as well, which is going to possibly allow us to ready some allies for a big boost. Uh, Jubair and Glorfindel, which I already mentioned, are great with a little bit of a boost to combat stats. Especially Glorfindel, because we can ready him using his own ability. To get extra use out of that bonus attack. Uh, and we also have Gandalf's Staff, which is mostly just going to do sort of miscellaneous things. Uh, in my testing, it's done a lot of shadow canceling, or discarding rather. And that honestly is the bulk of the deck. Um, we have Warden of Healing in order to sort of support our heroes, because at least Gandalf is probably going to take some damage. Uh, we have one copy of Will of the West, because this deck is going to draw a lot of cards, and being able to recycle once should be good enough. Um, and, you know, it's just a mix of other miscellaneous things that are hopefully going to help, uh, which you will get to see in the video in just a second. Alright, here we are in Octagon, bringing this Elven Light spammy deck up against the Blood of Gondor. 
you see we've got our staging area all set up the crossroads to start which is going to give us siege and the black numenorian who is hopefully just going to hang out here for a little while uh, we've got some orc rabble which started in play that should be fine and you know our opening hand is okay uh, this is post mulligan so it's not like I get a choice I have to keep it whether I want it or not. Uh, and this quest also has hidden cards, which are possibly going to be a huge pain, but we will see if Octagon cooperates today. So let's get started. Well, there's an Elven Spear off the top of the deck, thanks to Gandalf, and I can play on Arwen right away. Uh, I'm going to discard Elven Light for a resource. I'm probably not going to play it back immediately, but we shall see. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think I will play that Elven Light right away. Getting it back, drawing this Elrond's Council. Uh, Jubair on the top is not helpful, but there was a chance that it could have been another Elrond's Council, or Daron's Runes, or a Steward of Gondor that I could play right now. Uh, but that's alright. So, let's quest. And we have to remember that it is Siege questing. Also that I get a hidden card at the beginning of the quest phase. Uh, so here's what we are going to do. Two, five, six. Uh, actually, maybe I don't want to send Gandalf. Two, three, four, five, up against four in the staging area. That's probably not going to cut it. Uh, so we'll send Gandalf two, five, six, uh, seven, eight, eight, up against four. Okay, that's annoying. All right, up against six, we make two progress. Uh, I can't use Elrond's Council in order to avoid engaging this Orc Rabble, so we're just going to have to deal with that. Alright, so engagement, I have to take both of these. Uh, actually, before I do this, do I want to travel? If I clear this out... Uh, let's see, do I flip up all my hidden cards. I guess I can't really take another one right now, so we're not going to travel. I will engage both of these. Uh, Orc Ambusher does not discard any allies, because I don't have any. And at the beginning of combat, I decide flip this face up or take another one. I think I'm going to flip it. It's not an enemy, so that does nothing, thankfully. Shadow, Shadow. They're both attacking at three. So Arwen's gonna defend one. She takes one damage. Uh, I guess Faramir has to defend this one. I think he gets plus one, so he takes three damage. That's pretty bad. I can't fight back just yet. So yeah, everything is good. Uh, I did forget to give Theodrid's questing resource. Uh, which was going to go on Arwen, because all the resources go on Arwen. So, okay, that's where we are at the end of round one. Uh, I don't have any hidden cards, so I don't have to raise my threat by one. So let's just move on. There's a wizard pipe. That is good. So let's pay one for a wizard pipe from Gandalf. I can use it now to swap things, but I already used Gandalf's ability for this planning phase. Here is a Steward of Gondor for Arwen. We're going to shift all of these over here because she takes up a little bit of space. Four resources. Uh, let me cycle Elven Light to draw a card. Interesting. And one, two, three, four. Northern Tracker. This is good because I'll be able to clear the crossroads without having to quest through it. Do I want to do Nine Pathfinder, who is contributing nothing to the quest right now? I think no. So, beginning a quest phase, take a hidden card. 
And now what do we do? Well, Arwen can quest for two. Three. Four, five. Yeah, let's do that. All right, we're gonna quest for five up against two in the staging area. Reveal a Western road. That's fine. Uh, Northern Tracker does put one progress on the crossroads. I have to take a hidden card to travel to the Western Road, and I don't think I want to do that just yet. Uh, all right, so one, two, three, four. I do make one progress in total. So let's just move to combat. Uh, do I feel lucky or unlucky? I think I feel lucky. Let's flip this up. Not an enemy again, so it's discarded. Shadow, shadow. All right, Gandalf is going to defend uh, this orc rabble. Attack enemy gets plus one and another shadow card. So currently swinging at four, five, six. It's gonna do three damage to Gandalf, thanks to that stupid forest effect, but at least we can kill it this round. Lord Alcaron will defend orc ambusher. Forces me to take a hidden card. And he takes one damage. Uh, and this is where this gets relatively interesting. Uh, Arwen and... Now, Arwen and one, two, three cards is enough to kill the Orc Rabble. And Faramir can flip up this. Not an enemy, so it is just discarded. I'm really hoping for some healing relatively soon, for what it's worth. Just put these on top so that I know they're there. And that is where we're at this round. So, let's move on to the next one. Dunedain Pathfinders all in a row. Forgot the Farmir questing resource again, which was going to go on Arwen. Uh, hmm. It's a wizard pipe to pull this on the top and get Jubair back there. So I can go one, two, three, four, uh, five. Play Jubair, because that shadow canceling is huge. Uh, do I want a Dunedain Pathfinder this round? I think no. I think I just really do not want any of these. Uh, let's spend one to draw with Elven Light. I will discard Elven Light to get a resource on Arwen. Uh, probably gonna play Darren's Runes off the top of my deck in the quest phase. So let's go to questing now. Here's my hidden card for the beginning of the round. Uh, I will play Darren's Runes directly, drawing me one, two, and I will discard a Dunedain Pathfinder. They're great, because they're free, and with Northern Tracker, it's not that hard to deal with the locations, but right now I don't need three of them. That's dangerous. So, let's commit to the quest. Uh, and this is gonna be an interesting one because we're about to switch it back to willpower questing. So I can send three, four, five, it's probably six. Currently four against me, but this one's gonna go away. Uh, yeah, let's quest like this. Trigger Northern Tracker. One, one, two. Which adds the crossroads to the victory display. Gets me to regular willpower questing. So, like I said, three, four, five, six with Elrond's Council. And my threat is back down to 30. So let's see what we get. It is a conflict at the crossroads. Uh, that is actually really totally fine. It is two threat. So up against a total of five, my six makes one progress. I will travel to Western Road, forcing me to take a hidden card. Um, yeah, 
Nothing to engage, so we move to combat. I will flip both of these. <laughs> Once again, no enemies. So we just have this orc ambusher to deal with. I don't know why Arwen is exhausted. I'm pretty sure I forgot my theater resource yet again, because I keep doing that. So there goes on Arwen. Uh... Oh, right. I have Jubair now. Jubair will defend this Orc Ambusher and discard this Shadow card before it does anything. So no damage is dealt. Three, six, sure, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> More than enough to get rid of the Orc Ambusher. Uh, and I will draw two Elven Lights at the end of the combat phase. I don't need either of those cards, but that doesn't matter. Let's move on to the next round. What I'm really looking for is some healing, but uh, Protector of Lorien off of Gandalf is great. Two more resources from the Steward. Uh, here's two for Inaria. Yes, it would be fantastic to have Aristor, but it's okay if I don't. Uh, let's play the Dunedain Pathfinder now. And I'm sorry if you can hear that wind in the background. It is crazy windy here today. Alright, uh, only one of these. This is going to be Archery 1, which is a thing I can handle pretty effectively as soon as I get some healing. I do have a bunch of hit points out here. Uh, and I did not shuffle this deck. Yeah, let me discard an Elven Light and draw a card with it. And we will move to questing. So I get a hidden card yet again. Three, four, and I will remember my resource this time. Five, six, seven, committed to the quest. One progress on the dark woods. We reveal. Brutal Uruk. Yeah, totally fine. All right, so up against one, two, three, four, five, six, I would make one progress. Let's make that two, three, four progress. Which clears Western Road. Uh. Yeah, let's travel to the dark... Uh, let's not travel to the dark woods, actually. That's just silly. I do have to engage Brutal Uruk. And I will choose to reveal this hidden card at the beginning of combat, which is an enemy. Out of all of these, uh, Dunedain Pathfinder, you're the least valuable. Sorry. That's okay, though. Shadow, shadow. Alright, so here is the plan. Jubair is going to defend against this Brutal Uruk, discarding the Shadow card. It wouldn't have done anything anyways, but still. Nice to know I did not need it. Uh, Arwen is going to draw two cards with Elven Light. Treebeard is good to see. Um, I guess I don't need this, because I do have Narya. So let's Narya to ready Northern Tracker and Jubair. And Jubair will defend this Orc Ambusher. It's one extra shadow card. Thankfully does nothing. And Jubair takes no damage. I forgot this archery, which was gonna go on Northern Tracker. Now we need to fight back. Here is three. Uh, six with Faramir to kill the Brutal Uruk. And Arwen plus Alcaron is three. Uh, four, five. Enough to kill the Orc Ambusher. And one, two. I draw two back with Elven Light. Come on, Warden of Healing. I've drawn more than half my deck. Where are you? Uh, I may actually use this Galadrim Weaver in order to shuffle the deck and reveal a new top card. 
but that can wait. No hidden cards yet again, so I don't have to raise my threat for the Black Numenorian. That's another Protector of Lorien I don't need. So, uh, let's actually do that. Play a Galadrum Weaver to shuffle this Pathfinder back into the deck. Revealing a Dunedain Hunter. Gandalf's Staff is super good, so we're going to play that. Uh, gives us another way of discarding shadow cards. I have a second Weaver I could play. Hmm. Yeah, okay, let's preemptively play Elrond's Council in the planning phase. Drop my threat to 29. We'll use a second Galadrim Weaver to shuffle the deck one more time. Northern Tracker is great to see, so I don't feel bad about that at all. But I really want a Warden of Healing. Like, so badly right now. That's okay. Just have to make sure that I never, ever, ever take any damage on Faramir. Uh, and that Jubair is fine. I should have actually readied him with Narya before he took that attack, so he didn't take any damage, but we'll fix that later. All right, let's quest. Uh, that means I have to take a hidden card. Three, four, Five, six, seven, committed to the quest. One progress on the dark woods, which is explored, discarding this hidden card, which was a surge, so that's good to see. Let's see what our staging step is. Evil Crow. So, up against one threat, I make six progress. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we move on to stage two. Faramir and Lord Alcaron are now effectively removed from play. All my hidden cards, of which there are none, flip face up. And now we battle quest. And I no longer have the option to flip hidden cards face up at the end of the round. So, you know, things are good. Uh, I am forced to engage. An evil crow deals me one hidden card. Well, defend with Jubair and delete the shadow effect. <laughs> he takes no damage, and just Gandalf is plenty to kill the evil crow. All right, we move on to the next round. I am forced to raise my threat by one from this hidden card and the Black Numenorian. And basically we just have to quest now and we win. So that should not be too difficult to do. Uh, one, two, three, four. Here's a Northern Tracker. Me, Gandalf Staff to draw a card. Well, Glorfindel is nice, but that's okay. Hmm. Yeah, and I think I'm all right with these cards. So, let's battle quest. Get a second hidden card. So, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Committed to the quest. Against two in the staging area. All right, Dark Woods is actually pretty great to see. Up against four, I would make three progress. Uh, and I will discard one, discard two, discard three. In order to make three more progress by boosting Arwen's attack with Elven Spear. I don't get a chance to flip these up. I do have to take one archery damage, which I guess can go on this Northern Tracker. It's all well and good. Uh, the Theodred resource should be on Arwen. And let's move on to the next round. Do have to raise my threat by two. Which means I'm about to have to engage the Black Numenorian. 
honestly probably fine. He's not unique, which means I can discard that shadow card with Jubair, which is interesting. What's this? Uh, let me discard Glorfindel to Arwen for a resource, and then one, two, three, four, five. Play him out of the discard pile. I have four for Treebeard, but do I want it? I think I do. Or I could do Aerostore. Yeah, all right, let's Wizard Pipe to get this Wizard Pipe up and Aerostor down here. And then I can do one, two, three, four to play Aerostor. Fear all on the top is not bad. I will discard one Elven Light to Aerostor. Draw a card. Elven Spear does nothing. I swear there's healing in this deck. <laughs> Sorry, this round we should be safe from the Black Numenorian. So maybe I'll just try and quest out. So, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, I want... Ten committed to the quest. Um, I do have one extra hidden card. So... Okay, but do I want to Naria in order to ready these two? I guess I'll decide based on what gets revealed. Okay, Double Northern Tracker does two on the Dark Woods, clearing it, removing a hidden card. I feel like that's the lucky one. Dropping me back down to two in the staging area right now. My reveal, a brutal Uruk. All right, so up against Five. I will make five progress. One, two, three, four, five. Um, and yeah, okay, so we'll use Gandalf to ready two, which adds two willpower to my total. And I can discard one, two, three cards with Arwen to add one, two, three more to my total. And that is the Blood of Gondor. We have, uh, I guess, evaded the Black Numenorian. Fought off a bunch of Uruks. Dealt with hidden cards that had no enemies yet again. Uh, and did not get Faramir or Lord Alcaron killed. Somehow. Alright, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alright, all the Warden of Healings down in the bottom ten cards. I could have used those. <laughs> Alright everyone, that's it for me this week. Hopefully you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.